there YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle. Today I have a haul for you that is all Christmas themed stuff. I'm so excited. It is my favorite time of year. I've already been thinking about where I'm going to be putting stuff. So I can't wait to just go ahead and go through the items that I have and share them with you. A lot of them are things that I've been getting from thrift stores all year as well as some things that I've recently picked up from Dollar Tree or some things that I've had since last year. All right, so let's jump into it. The first thing is the thing right behind me. It is a winter wonderland tree. It is only, here, this one's a better view. It's the four foot tall one, not that tall. It's just me here, so I just kind of, you know, I decorate pretty minimally. It's the pre-lit tree, um, so I don't have to put lights on it. And I got it from a thrift store, if you can see that. It originally sells for $20 at Big Lots, but I got it for $3.99, and I got this one last year. Okay. I'm gonna be using that tree again this year. <clears throat> Another thing is actually something that I got from a previous job um, that I'm gonna be using to decorate, and it's this. Um, you probably can't see all the detail in it, but it is a little train set that is winter themed. So I'm gonna be using this as some decoration, probably put some lights on it, um, stuff like that. You couldn't buy this anywhere cause someone, a student made this for me, but it's really, really cute. You can see like the little frozen lake there and the little barn houses and stuff. It's really cute. <clears throat> so I can't wait to figure out where I wanna put this. I don't know where just yet. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna start with this basket. <laughs> Um, in this basket are a couple of light up necklaces from Dollar Tree. Um, so they were just a dollar and they are just the little bulbs. <clears throat> Got a couple of those. And then some other things that came from a thrift store. Uh, this bear is just one of the December teddy bears. This one's from 2001. So it's kind of old, but he's really, really cute. And I was thinking of putting him on a couch or something to just be a nice little Christmas and really adorable decoration. Um, and then this is just like a little, it's kind of a DIY thing. Um, I just thought he looked kind of Christmassy with his little scarf on. Um, and I'm just gonna hang him up somewhere. Hopefully my cat doesn't try to destroy him. Um, and really it's just stuffed animals that I have here. Um, and then this Christmassy Beanie Baby that I used to collect a lot of these when I was younger and I still have mostly bears left, but um, this guy's gonna go out for a Christmas decoration. Um, excuse me, I do have a cold. It is snowing here, it's cold here. Uh, just been struggling a little bit, but just don't mind me. Um, this poinsettia decoration, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna use it as my centerpiece in my dining area. You probably can't see it all, but when I do a holiday apartment tour, you'll be able to see the whole thing. But it is just a poinsettia flower arrangement. It's got pine cones, it's got holly, it's got, um, I don't know what this flower is called here, but it's got those there as well. And it's in a little basket that says happy holidays. I'm so excited for this. I actually found it recently and could not wait to pick it up. I love poinsettias. They are my second favorite flower after peace lilies. Um, so I couldn't wait to get that because I can't have real poinsettias in my house because my cat would try to eat them and they are very poisonous to cats. Little um, info there. Um, and then of course the basket that it's all in, I'm actually gonna try to use that as decoration too. I have a cranberry red blanket that I'm just gonna throw in here and try to use that as decoration, maybe even put this guy in it with the blanket. Who knows, we'll see what I do. All right, so moving on to a bin. I have a bin full, ooh, full of things. Um, the thing that fell out is one of these guys. They are at the Dollar Tree this year. They're little snowman heads, and when you turn them on, they just kind of Still don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I couldn't resist picking up a couple of these. Even if it just means giving them to my niece and nephew if I can't find something I wanna decorate with these. Uh, I just thought that they were super cute. And I like little things that make music, like Christmas music. I don't really like things that sing Christmas songs, but I like things that play Christmas tunes. Um, okay, moving on. Um, I got 
a cute little set. This is a pillow with a couple of cats on it. They're like playing with the Christmas tree ornaments. This would be a great throw pillow for my, um, my living room and matching you guys it, it probably won't be able to fit all on camera but i also have a throw that is just the matching set uh, let's see let's see if i can show you the same cat at least all right yeah so it's a throw that's just like a bigger picture that's the matching set and i'm gonna throw that over my blank um, over my couch as well can't wait for that um recently found this at Dollar Tree as well. It says Winter Wishes. It's super, super cute and it's got little cranberries on there. For my Christmas theme this year, I am gonna use a lot of reds and some dark greens and some white. I'm gonna kind of stay away from too much gold. Um, it just doesn't scream Christmas to me whenever it's like too many different colors. I wanna stick with like a theme of red, white, green, and browns actually, like some woods. <clears throat> Um, got this tray. I actually had this tray last year. It says Winter Wishes also. And I'm going to be using this uh, probably near my entryway table. Uh, and these are at Dollar Tree. Alright, and this bag. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, okay. Um, I just got like this pack of fragrance uh, things. You guys, whenever you pack stuff away, um, it's actually, these are a really good idea to put with things that you may pack away for like a season or a long time because they're fragrance and they kind of help it to not smell like, you know, something that's been packed away for a long time. So it smells nice, especially when you get something that's kind of Christmas smelly. And then so when you open all your Christmas decorations, you just smell like cranberry and pine. Really good idea. Um, this candle. Uh, it's winter pine. I got this from Dollar Tree and it is a three ounce candle. And then this whole bag is just full of these. So I don't need to take them all out. It's just full of these and they still... <coughs> and they have them at Dollar Tree again this year. It is the frosted pine cones with holly on a stem. And I just have a bunch of those in this bag along with some... Um, poinsettia ones too. I'm gonna make little vases. If you guys have seen my fall apartment tour, you've seen the two vases next to my television that are full of like fall thing, like orange, red, and yellow flowers. I'm just gonna replace the flowers with the poinsettias and the pine cones to make them Christmassy. Um, the next thing is this. I got this from a thrift store forever ago. It is a candle, believe it or not got a wick and everything but it is like a jelly material but inside are little Christmas stickers they say Merry Christmas and there's some sand in there um, it's really unique I picked it up not even knowing what I wanted to do with it I'm probably never gonna like this but it looks really really nice um, like on a coffee table or even an end table just really cute Christmas decor um, in this bag Okay, so in this bag are all Christmas ornaments. I'm only going to take some out because they have gotten tangled and I don't want to untangle them all. Um, so some of them are the little snowmen from oops, from last year that I had on my tree. His nose is gone, but that's okay. The star from my tree from last year. And these are all from Dollar Tree, by the way. So you could get them all. I'm sure you could get them all again today. Um, those little bells, I love these because they're the perfect size. You guys saw I have a four foot tree. Um, putting these everywhere is just the perfect size for that size tree. <clears throat> and then a couple of these, let me get them all out. Uh, yeah, so I just have these little things. I don't know if they're carrying these in Dollar Tree this year. Hopefully they are because they were so cute and they're so perfect. Um, this one says peace, this one says love, and this one says joy. Super, super cute. Even if I don't end up putting these on the tree, I'll probably hang them somewhere as like a really cute accent on the wall or something. So that's really it for that, except for some things that were kind of tangled, but I'm not gonna untangle them. <clears throat> All right, next in the bin is my wreath. So I'm actually not that sure that I'm gonna use this wreath again this year because like I said, it's not really going with the theme that I want this year. But it is this wreath. Oops. Let's see. A couple things are tangled, y'all. 
Um, it is a all pine cone reef, so no pine like the usual ones are, the green ones. And then some um, silver and white, like, I guess they're pine needles or pine, um, like, sprigs and some little balls on there. It's really, really unique. I like this. I got it because it was so different than what I usually see every year. So I did use it last year, but this year I think I'm gonna go with something a little bit more traditional, something that looks a little bit more like my centerpiece with some um, poinsettias on there and some pine and some pine cones, something a little bit more with the red and the green. So. that away alrighty so getting to some more things containers I love containers like Christmas containers <clears throat> this one is a Christmas tree from Dollar Tree last year oh and that um that reef was from doll uh, from a thrift store guys um, just like one of the circular tins um, this little Christmas, I think it's like a cookie or candy or treat jar um, with the little Christmas winter owls on it. Got that from a thrift store. You guys, I'm sorry that I got so much stuff from thrift stores that you probably wouldn't even be able to know where to find them. Uh, but if you, I guess just Google, you know, clear container with owls or something, you could probably find something similar like on eBay or um, like Amazon or something. Um, this is really really cute. It is a I think it used to be like a music box But I found it at a thrift store and I think that part of it was missing or maybe it was a snow globe um, It's just this really really pretty Victorian house with a little family out front and it is so super super cute It's got the little snowman there. Sorry. That's not focusing um, But this is super cute. I love this uh, and once again, I got that from a thrift store as well. Thrift stores are the best places to go for Christmas decor. You find so many things that are unique and traditional looking. Christmas cards. Um, I use Christmas cards as decoration as well. So I have this style and I did get these from Dollar Tree. And then uh, this style that I also got from Dollar Tree. Oops. <laughs> that was upside down. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. More containers. These are pretty unique. Uh, this one is like a cylinder shape. It's got a little tiny present right there. I'm gonna use this as decoration on my coffee table. This one I'm not really feeling for decoration. I think I'm gonna give this, like put a gift in this and then give it away. It's got little snowflakes on the inside. Uh, Dollar Tree, by the way, for this. It's got a little snowman on it. Super, super cute. Even if they don't have that same exact one this year, I've seen a ton of really, really cute, really nice holiday boxes at the Dollar Tree recently. <clears throat> and then this one, it's a silver box, but it's got like the little gold um, thing on top. And what's really cute about this is it is actually a scenery. Um, I'll try to open up like little pieces at a time if you can see and I I apologize guys I did get this one from a thrift store um, so you probably couldn't get it um, you know wherever you usually shop but it's really really cute like if you look up something like uh, Christmas or winter themed Christmas box scene or something. I'm sorry. I'm trying to help you guys find the items because I do shop a lot at thrift stores and I, I feel bad that I can't be very helpful. <clears throat> um, but if you just look up, just some, put in keywords of the things that you're looking for, you, you'd be surprised that you could find online <clears throat> or even on like Facebook marketplace or something like that. <clears throat> All right. So the last bag in this bin uh, it's Christmas stuff. I mean, <laughs> it's kitchen stuff. Uh, oven mitts. This one is new. And then this one is from last year. I think I'm going to use them both. Uh, this is the Noel theme that they have going on this year. And I think that this is the Let It Snow from last year. Um, and then the matching oven mitts. They have the two-pack Noel. And then this is a placemat. 
That is also Noel. Dollar Tree. I think everything in here is Dollar Tree, so that would help, I guess. Um, two of the Let It Snow towels just to like hang on the cabinets from last year's design. Uh, and then one more towel that is super, super cute. I actually think I got this from Walmart last year, but it is a bear and a raccoon and it says, be merry. Y'all, where I live, bears and raccoons are everywhere. And I just thought this was so cute. Just like imagining them like dancing <laughs> together in the snow, like just so cute. So bears and raccoons are practically my neighbors out here. And this just seemed very perfect. The last thing I have is my table runner. Uh, it is so, 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 so pretty. I love this table runner. It is just poinsettias, like really giant poinsettias all throughout. It's a really, really great material. I did get this from a thrift store, but I am positive you could find something like this at like TJ Maxx or maybe another thrift store or Big Lots because they have a lot of different ones of very great quality. All right guys, so that is everything for my holiday haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was sort of helpful to some people out there with getting some ideas together or maybe even where to shop for things. Um, if you need to know where I got some things and I didn't really clarify, just ask down in the comments and I will try my best to answer. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you later, bye.